Hello friends and dear students. In this video, you will learn about the diagnostic agents. I, Mr. Prashik Dudhe, Assistant Professor, Sihangar College of Pharmacy, Pune, will explain about the diagnostic agents, its introduction, its mechanism and various types of diagnostic agents. After watching the video, learners will able to explain about what are diagnostic agents, how they will work, its mechanism and what are the various techniques where these diagnostic agents are used. Now, let us start with the diagnostic agents. These are the agents which are used to detect impaired function of the body organs like kidney, heart and thyroid gland, urinary gland and so on. These agents are also help in detecting abnormalities in the tissue structure like epithelial tissues, muscular tissues, nervous tissues and so on. This agents does not have any therapeutic or pharmacological action of their own. They are only utilized for detection purposes. These agents are divided into two types radio opaque or x-ray contrast media and agents for organ function test. The radio opaque substances are further divided according to its solubility in water. So first is water soluble contrast media for example phosphate citrate buffer and water insoluble contrast media for example propylodon and iopenoic acid the agents for organ function test are used there are there are various agents used on different different organs like in case of kidney function indigo tin disulfonate is used in case of liver function test when we want to check whether liver is functioning properly or not in that condition agents like sulfobromothaline sodium is used and there are number of agents which are used like fluorosin sodium evans blue and congo red in detection of various body organs. Now let us understand how these agents are used. The x-ray machine emits the radiation which is bombarded on the body or specific organ or tissue where it gets absorbed and remaining of the transmitted rays where goes to the x-ray film and image is developed of the rays which are being transmitted minus the absorbed rays. So whatever portion it gets absorbed will be observed on the x-ray with a white color. So the absorption of the rays it depend upon the x-ray contrast media cause these agents have the property to absorb the x-ray and wherever we want to measure or detect of the body any body function or any organ 
this radio opaque substance is injected and x ray are major x ray measures the image of that organ on the x ray film now let us see the animation of the same the x ray emits from the machine goes to the body where the radio opaque substance is being injected to the specific organ or the part where we want to note the transmitted rays develop a image on the x ray to show the structure of that specific organ or whatever body part we want to measure so the x ray is continuously bombarding all its rays on the body radio opaque substance which absorbs the radiation x ray radiation wherever the radiation is being absorbed that part will be visible on the x ray film this is how the diagnostic agent will work now let's see what are the various imaging test where diagnostic agents are used this all this graphy it means nothing but the image will be created on the x rays of different different body parts and from those x ray image we can detect whether the that body part is functioning properly it has its structure uni uniformity or not and if any defect is there we can easily able to observe that with this imaging test so starting with angiography angiography is specifically used for detecting the functioning of blood vessels it's a technique where the radioactive substance is injected in the blood vessel and the image is obtained to detect any blockage in the blood vessels so if any patient which is undergoing heart attack is prescribed with the angiography test so that the doctors can able to check where are the blocks which are present and which can be easily get removed with number of various techniques the next techniques is atherography which is specifically used in case of joints where the radio opaque substance is being injected in the joints like if this is the joint this is the uh, sh uh, image of the shoulder where the dye or the radio opaque substance is being injected and that part is subjected to the x ray and from the x ray we can able to create an image of the shoulder and where are the abnormalities present this atherography is specifically used in case of joint defects or if the patient is come across any accidents where he or she injured his joints now next technique is bronchography it is a radio radiological technique which involves x ray x-raying the respiratory tract after coating the airways with the contrast media nowadays this is not in use because it is substituted with more advanced technique like tomography and bronchoscopy similarly there are number of techniques for hepatography which where we can able to check whether liver is functioning properly or not then for the lymphography where lymph nodes and the vessels can be generated on the image uh, on the x ray to check its normal functioning or if any defects is observed we can able to treat that with a specific drugs myelography is a technique where it specifically used for brain and spinal cord injuries the patient is injected specifically a uh, radio opaque substances in the spinal cord so that the spinal fluid will be visible uh, on the x ray image 
and if any de defect is found it can be treated specifically in that region similarly there are number of techniques which are there where this imaging techniques using the radio opaque substances and the x-ray machine which creates the image of those specific organ on the x-ray and doctors can able to uh, detect the specific location or doctor can come across the various number of problems associated with that organ and can give the treatment thank you for patient listening goodbye